reasons why dampness occurs. One, of course, is the leakage in plumbing lines. Then dampness could also be caused by an external wall having a crack or some uh, point where the water from the rain is allowed to enter inside the building. So that requires a different kind of approach. We'll have to find out the root causes of where the water is entering the building. Those things have to be tackled depending on whether it's a crack or a discontinuity or imperfection in external painting. So these are the things that have to be examined and appropriate action has to be taken. Then other uh, reason for dampness is normally these toilets, we have this uh, floor tiles, they will be having gaps. Earlier the trend was to have a, a zero gap. We used to call it as a paper joint. The tiles will touch one another and a thin layer of slurry of uh, grouting material is put in, which is very, very uh, imperfect. So the water leaks in between that and goes and spreads below the tiles and this will rise in the walls on the sides. And what we call professionally as a capillary action, the rising dampness. So this is very uh, difficult to treat because you have to seal all the uh, tile joints. The correct practice is to lay the flooring tiles in the bathroom with a small gap using a, what is known as a spacer. And those gaps have to be filled up properly with an anti-damp uh, 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 proof grout, uh, preferably a, a epoxy grout. So this will take care of further seepage and the rising dampness. Please like, share and comment on this video and do not forget to subscribe to MBTV.